Yo, welcome back to the Nerds with Glasses podcast, your number one gaming podcast on YouTube. I am your host, Knowledge. And I'm Javi. In case you guys haven't known, we have an app, guys. The GOP app. You can GOP find app. it on the App Store, on the Play Store. Just type in GOP, you'll see our logo. It's a little person. Poltergeist. <laughs> Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Look at yeah. <laughs> Don't ask us how we got it, but it just stuck with us. All right. <laughs> but yeah, you can download our app and you can follow our podcast there and follow all our other videos there too. Mm-hmm. All right, so this week... I think the most important thing... Well, first off, last week we couldn't do the podcast. We had some technical difficulties. Yeah. We, <laughs> you know, we did it kind of late anyways. Our schedules this month have been really... Really off. Messed up. But we should be back on track. Yeah, hopefully and, by August. Yeah. Yeah. So there's some stories that might be from like a week and a half ago. because, right. But we really uh, wanted to talk about them. Mm-hmm. But the first and most important thing is... For everyone that is for, on YouTube. <laughs> for everyone that's on YouTube... Finally, they're pretty much dissolving Google Plus. There's no longer gonna be connected. It's gonna still be around, yeah, but yeah, what I mean, they're not, is, dis- they're not uh, getting rid of Google Plus. Yeah, but they're just giving getting rid of its association with YouTube. And that's the only reason it exists. <laughs> that's the only reason it ever mattered for anything. Because to, I, I was, uh, I was honestly, I was worried for a while that YouTube was gonna go down. Yeah, when it first happened, yeah. and I remember specifically, like you know, I had my channel even then, and I think the comments and likes. Or and dislikes dropped by like half when Google Plus was finally officially like required because people just they didn't want to go through that wall of making having to make a Google a Google Plus profile. So I think I remember didn't it like as like when you first made it yet they asked you to make please put people in your circle. You're like yeah, bro. I just want to get into YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I don't want to put people in my circle. I don't want to put my likes or dislikes. No profile <laughs> pictures. Shit. It was a, and it sucks, dude. That's the that's the worst part about it is that I like you know over time I like how it's been integrated with YouTube as far as it's just easy to if once you're logged in it's it's like it's not even there. It's just part of YouTube. But like the actual Google Plus, I never just go on Google Plus and, and talk to people. Like, yeah, but it's one of those things like no one's on it. Like yeah. I'm sure if people were, I'm sure if you had a bunch of people and you actually use it for like you know like a week or two, yeah, you'd be like oh, okay, yeah, okay, this is fine. I know the one thing that people do like though has it was the Hangouts feature, where okay. like it's kind of like Skype calling people, but it it just makes it really easy and convenient. Oh, so like an easier Skype because I I don't like Skype too much. Yeah, I don't know why. It's not even that it's hard or anything. It's just, it's just I don't know. You just don't prefer it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get you. Granted, I'm, I prefer, you know, texting and actual aim. Remember aim? Yeah, yeah. I prefer yeah, that. Yeah. No, me too. I mean, I used to be on that all the time. That's all I use Skype for. I don't I don't like video chat <laughs> with anybody. I just, just aim people. Yeah. But I think that this means a lot for YouTube. My first question is, is it too late? I mean, YouTube, either way, prospered even with a Google Plus, so mm-hmm. YouTube is not in danger. But so is it is it too late for it to help YouTube again? Does it matter anymore? Do people like, did people just start making Google Plus pages anyway? Well, regardless? I mean, we have a lot of people that, you know, we, we complain about because they don't have a Google Plus. Yeah. So we can't uh, comment. To can't them. comment back to them. You know, yeah. so I mean. And it's always, that's the worst, it's always the people you want to respond to and you can't... Not necessarily, you know. like, yeah, yeah, it's the people like, like, why you suck so much? Like, really? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I suck? Okay, motherfucker. This account yeah. is not connected to Google+, Plus. it cannot be <laughs> replied. God! <laughs> yeah, um, my, my thoughts were just that, I don't know if it's going to matter so much anymore. Like I said, when Google+, Plus was implemented, the, the likes and comments... Dropped oh, okay. in half, so, do, right? so you're saying, are you, so your question is if it's going to go back up. Yeah, so like, I mean, obviously it's not going to, like I said, it dropped in half. Does that mean it's going to double now? No, it's not, but. Is there, are we going to see some kind of increase? Do you think so? I think so. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people didn't even, like, uh, so many people just watch YouTube videos just to watch them, you know? Yeah, yeah. But that wall was really like, fuck. I don't care like yeah but i'm sure there's so many people that have tried commenting and they're like please make i'm like no never mind i'm good yeah yeah <laughs> you know so maybe those people start now now that google plus granted i don't know how they're gonna know yeah you know what i mean but i guess if they're new to youtube yeah, but it's be. like who's new to youtube now like who doesn't know about youtube anyone born now yeah. <laughs> like 
from Man. this moment. They're new to YouTube. That's it. I'm guessing too. I'm guessing YouTube will probably do some like advertisement about not advertisement, but it'll, it'll, <laughs> you got rid of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they already do that. It'll let you know, like, oh, you know, you can sign in. You don't need, you know, and you know that was the other thing about that too was. If you guys don't remember, before it wasn't—it wasn't only the fact that it was Google Plus, but the fact that it was only Gmail too, because that was the other part of it. You know, and most people, a lot of people have Gmail, so a lot of people didn't complain about it. Gmail is great, mm-hmm. but before, like my first account was with a Yahoo. Yahoo, account yeah i think i had mine on aol it's gone now yeah like and and you you could do it on all those accounts before and then slowly but surely along with the google, google plus you can only use gmail so that also that shut off another people who like other people was yeah. like i have my email it's my hotmail you know like i'm not gonna and, make another <laughs> i mean it made sense why they were doing that you know they have their own email they yeah want people to use that i get that it makes sense but you can't monopolize it like that you cannot force people to do that like like people that had a gmail made a yahoo just to be like yeah like uh, i'm not doing this shit. i'm done with google (laughs) yeah that's that's the number one lesson that it just happens all the time over and over and over again and yet they don't learn it is that you cannot force this on people or people will reject it you know like it doesn't i understand youtube has no competition so that that was their whole theory behind it i'm sure they were sitting they were just sitting in the office around all the executives and just like we can do whatever the fuck we want we own youtube now there is zero competition for youtube and there really is there's all those little other sites like Vimeo and Daily Motion, but those are a blip. World Star. <laughs> <Like, laughs> oh, what was yeah. <laughs> that one, yeah. But those are connected to YouTube. Are they now? Yeah. I oh, think. they. Oh, okay. The videos are on YouTube. Yeah. Now, yeah, they're like, you know what? We don't need to host our own thing now. Yeah. We just. <laughs> so like, I'm sure the executives were just sitting around a table and just like, we can do whatever the fuck we want. Like, oh, we're just gonna increase everything, and now G- everybody's gonna be using Gmail and Google no. Plus. No, it's it's ter- and Google Plus. Is- unfortunately for them, they're not the video game market. Like, yeah. <laughs> video game market can do whatever the fuck they want. Stop, I mean, like, <laughs> you're just you're just throwing jabs. I know it's it's true. It's so true. It's like oh, twenty dollar DLC for a helmet. Yeah, like, yeah. people will pay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And yes. they will they pay. Will. <laughs> but- All right, but with my second question with that before we move on mm-hmm. was. Is Google Plus dead? Is it over? Is there no point to Google Plus anymore? Are they just eventually? I think their just... dream about taking over Facebook and every social media. Yeah, that's done. That was done yeah. as soon as they. Yeah. As soon as they start, like they start. Actually, not as soon as they started. As soon as they, like you said, did the force, uh, force everything together. If you if if you're Google, do you find a different use for Google Plus? Do you sell it as something else? Maybe or do combine you combine it with Gmail? Yeah. Don't make it obviously. Don't make it for it. Make it like a an optional thing. Like like a kind of like a, like make the interface a little bit different. I guess you can do that. Yeah. I mean, Gmail's still good. That's a good idea. And actually, because yeah. you know, Gmail is something like that social. YouTube was the thing. Like YouTube didn't need that social thing because it was already its social media. Yeah, it's true. They had no reason for that. Yeah. I mean, if they were to like instead of maybe like. Uh, for Gmail, they don't need to make it like oh, combine with Google Plus, but just make features that they had on Google Plus and add them to like to Gmail. Yeah, yeah. But also, li- don't change it too much because then people are going to be mad anyway. <laughs> you know what? I really like that idea. Um, that makes a lot of sense. I yeah, I can see them still doing something like that because at the end of the day, it's because they have the infrastructure there. It's there. Yeah. Use it or get rid of it. It's just so, it's so sad because. I hated it when they when they implemented it, and and the I think a lot of people did. Yeah, everybody. I think all YouTubers did, and it sucks. It's nice that they backtracked on it now, two years later, <laughs> but at the same time, it sucks because everybody in the world told them it wasn't gonna work. You know what I mean? And and then they they kind of backtracked backtracked YouTube because of it. YouTube is still huge, still the biggest, but I think that it could could have been even bigger because. I not having comments and and likes and stuff like that that affects videos you know that affects it a lot and yeah, yeah well, it's whatever I mean fine they, at least they finally realized the mistake that they made backtrack now fix it and we should be good move on and I I think Google Plus 
for the I think what's gonna end up happening is that it's gonna end up just being dissolved. Yeah, and like the main thing, like you said, like I was just thinking about it again, like the whole forcibly. I was just thinking about the way Facebook does it. Yeah. Like so many things you can connect your Facebook to it. Yeah. But you don't have to. Yeah. Exactly. But granted, those things aren't owned by Facebook. I'm sure if Facebook owned it, they would probably do it forcibly. No, but here you got to remember too, face, Facebook has done it. Has? Has done, has forced you to do things. But when it ha- when that has happened, people at Facebook have thrown riots and shit. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I remember the, the number one thing that I remember I was back, back when I was in college was Facebook uh, changed the news feed. They created the news feed for the first time, like, so that you can see all the people who are, who you, like, are friends with and you see the news feed, right? And what they did was your privacy was, like, you can see if you're, like, if I were looking at some girl's picture or whatever, <laughs> and so it would say, like, uh, Miguel is looking at Christina's it's like profile. The, it's like the poke, except all yeah. the time. Yeah. Like, so as was, soon as you click on their profile, yeah. it's like you just got poked. Yeah. By. <laughs> and it was like, uh, and then so you look in the feed, it's just like, oh yeah, Javi's looking at Jennifer's uh, profile. And you're like, no, no, <laughs> not like, bro- like, and like, then Jennifer's like, boyfriend's like, like bro. The- <laughs> No, you more like problem. Jennifer's like, he's been looking at my profile often, you know, like he's browsing through my pictures often. Yeah. And of course, I, I think I remember that the, I'm no, I'm right with this number. 10% of Facebook users at that time, 10%. That's a lot of people at that time signed a petition for them to not do that. And of course, Facebook had to backtrack, mm. but they backtracked in like two weeks like you Not know, two, yeah well, Google's two, almost there yeah two years <laughs> yeah it's yeah it's a big time they had to backtrack right away because it was just like dude like i don't even want to be on facebook anymore because i can't facebook stalk people yeah. <laughs> like that's the only reason <laughs> i had like, yeah. it just so i can uh, pretend that i don't care but then i'm really like just looking at their profiles all the time and shit. yeah but then again facebook kind of like it's its own thing you know it uh-huh. has to please it like as soon as that happens, it has to please those people. Yeah, yeah. You know, something like Google, it's like, it has so much going for it. It's like... We're Google. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you not know who we are? <laughs> <laughs> that, position, that petition you signed is gone. The, the, <laughs> we destroyed the petition. Um, but, but along with Google+, Plus, you know, and we're thinking about this too, was about the YouTube gaming thing. Mm. So, like, they started... YouTube started its own competitor yeah. to... And this we we knew about... We, we had read about last week. Yeah, yeah. And so the Google Plus we just read about. Yeah, but we actually thought about that and we we're like, and you said it, you were the one who said it, you're like, I'll tell you this, Mike, if I have to sign into Google Plus to get into the YouTube gaming website, I'm done. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm absolutely yeah. done. So they, 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 knew, they, they somehow had access to our podcast, which had no audio. <laughs> I knew what we said. <laughs> they knew they were listening because <laughs> they're fucking ass spies everywhere. But yeah, so um, so the YouTube gaming app, uh, app, it's not an app. The YouTube gaming is going to be a site that's similar to YouTube. It's it is an app too, by the way. Oh, it is? Okay. But I mean, it's just like, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. But like, yes, one of the main features it's, is that it's an app. It's yeah. going to be its own portal, right? It's yeah. It's going to have its own homepage. It's going to be attached to YouTube. Exactly. But it's going to have its own, it's going to be live stream. Gaming yeah. mostly, if I'm not mistaken. It is ga- it's gaming. Okay. So I wasn't uh, sure about that. Because, yeah. you know, Twitch, you could do a little bit more. It, yeah, I mean, it's, it's mostly it's, gaming. It's a gray area. It's supposed to be, you know, gaming, gaming related. I guess exactly it, gaming related. Yeah, and I'm sure that's what YouTube is, gaming is going to be gaming yeah. related. It could yeah. be someone, you know, doing a podcast, a live, you know, like yeah. I've seen people do. Yeah. Um, but um, because they yeah. can't, they can't moderate that. There's too many people. They can't. And they wouldn't. Why would they? Yeah, I mean, like, of course, what they moderate is like sex and you know, like yeah, exactly. of course, That's all that yeah. stuff. But yeah, because uh, but you know, because like like they can't like they're not gonna stop someone from like I, I, for example, Attack of the Show. Kevin Ferrer has a podcast on Twitch. There you go. Exactly. I don't think he plays that many. I mean, he probably plays, plays games, but it's about gaming. It's about you know pop culture and gaming. Yeah. You know. They're, if something like that was on there, they wouldn't they wouldn't be shutting that down. Yeah, it unless it was you know like you said vulgar or something. Yeah, like and that. It, yeah, it wouldn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. But um, now our question is, how is this gonna be? Is this gonna be YouTube gaming versus Twitch? Is this what's gonna happen now? Yeah, no, I mean, and that's, I guess this news about Google Plus just put another notch on YouTube gaming. 
Because uh, here, what it comes, what it comes down to is that we're comparing these things. It's like, okay, Twitch is the king of the mountain, mm -hmm. the same way that YouTube is the king of the mountain yeah. on the video front. And something we didn't think about last time, was, or that we didn't think about, was if you think, look, if you look at these social media, there's only one at the top. Yeah, like there's a bunch of them, but only one that you really know about. Yeah, and their respective things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So now, uh, YouTube has been associated with videos in general yeah twitch is mainly associated with gaming well, gaming uh, live streaming exactly yeah right now the biggest thing on youtube is gaming yes so it's just going to be one of those weird things that now that it's going into the same realm as twitch which i mean technically they were they're both in the same realm already yeah it's just you know the live streaming is, a, is definitely different from, it's, di it's a different experience that's mm -hmm. that's absolutely true yeah so now that these two guys i mean like youtube is like I think, in their respective things, like you said, they're they're head to head. Yeah. Even though they're not in the same area, they're still yeah. like the top, the, the king of the mountain, like you said. Yeah, yeah. So now it's gonna be YouTube's gonna be trying to come in on their territory. What's Are they gonna exactly be? What's, what's gonna, gonna happen? happen? Yeah. yeah. Are they gonna be successful? You know, there's a syndicate, huge YouTuber, streams. Huge on streamer, yeah. And I mean, yeah, exactly, he's a huge. I know streamer. both. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Exactly. Both. So he's the he's he's he's. Top of both of the king of the mountains. Yeah, you know who's he gonna side with if that happens yeah. to be the case. Yeah, and and he probably has a contract with Twitch. I imagine exactly. Live stream. Yeah, they and he puts his live streams on YouTube, which is you know YouTube has done that. Like I'm curious, yeah. are they gonna stop that? You yeah, they, they they yeah, are they're gonna not let you because right now you can just straight. I think there's a like a connection, right? That you yeah, can, like you can it. yeah, like Twitch and YouTube are connected. You can. You can immediately archive your Twitch live streams onto YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like they're interconnected if you want so to connect that, them. Is that going to be cut? Yeah. No, I don't think they can do that. Cause I don't think they can do that. But I'm just saying, like, yeah. I think if it comes down to it, they would. I I hope that they learn from Google Plus yeah, exactly. that they that they can because pe and, people's reactions are mm -hmm. are too critical in this. And know? then like you know, YouTube has people like you know PewDiePie who's like pretty much untouchable. Yeah. Like, in the sense, like. I mean, granted, he, I don't know how much money he makes compared to other top yeah. YouTubers, you know? Yeah. But I'm sure he makes quite a bit more than most of them. Yeah. There's a baby shower going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's not anyone dying. They're playing one of the games. Yeah, they're going crazy. <laughs> but, oh, uh, but yeah, anyway, sorry. <laughs> so PewDiePie, you know, who, do they have someone like that? Yeah. Well, I think, I think they're lining up a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. And I think that they don't need... The kings of the mountain. I don't think they need Syndicate. I don't think they need PewDiePie and all those people. It'd be nice to have them, but I think if they can get a bunch of Rad Brads, Ghost Robos, like if they can get a bunch of the like million subscriber guys mm -hmm. who who currently don't live stream that much, they dabble in it. But they, it's not like they're just like we're live streamers. They just dabble in it because they have such a big fan base. If they said, "Oh, we're gonna live stream," people will come to Twitch, mm -hmm. you know. I think that's what they need yeah. is a bunch of middle tier and, guys. And I, I, I'm hoping that that's going to be the advantage with Twitch. Yeah. It'll be easier for them to just, you know, because right now, you know, there's that whole thing with Twitch that like you'll see a Twitch streamer and if they have their YouTube, it says, I'm streaming live now. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be much more prominent. Yeah. If a YouTube gaming streamer is streaming. Yeah. And, and that's the advantage is that. Like you said, Twitch is the king of the mountain in live streaming, and YouTube is the king of the mountain in, in videos. <laughs> yeah, like I don't even know what to categorize yeah. YouTube in. Yeah. Okay, like... so in in video streaming and like in VODs, let's say. Yeah. Uh, you know, videos on demand. Um. But that doesn't mean that they're the same. No, you know? it doesn't. Because the thing is, YouTube is like Michael Jordan, like king of the mountain, and like Twitch is still like college level king of like you know university of yeah. kentucky when they you know like whatever it's Super, like 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 first round pick <laughs> yeah year, you know yeah it's like mvp already like they're already calling it yeah because it, it's not comparable because it's just the the fan bases are are and that's, a, that's the other different. crazy thing that you know something because i really want to see like i want to have like i don't have a comparison we don't have a comparison right now mm -hmm. but just number of traffic like traffic wise yeah because uh, i'm sure youtube gets a lot and Twitch gets a lot. Yeah, because like, because what, uh, what's it called? Um, Twitch gets like 56 unique, 56 million unique viewers a month. 
I'm sure YouTube gets like a billion, <laughs> like right, right. you know, like so and, and for gaming, yeah, and like and not even like for other shit for gaming, right? You know? And the the thing that I think Twitch doesn't have or that YouTube has over Twitch is that Twitch is kind of a niche. Like, yeah, it still is. It's uh, gaming is somewhat uh, respectable now. Not actually, not even really. It still isn't, but it's. People, it's at this point, it's like the people that are doing it is like, fuck you, I don't care. Yeah, like, uh, whatever, I'm making money. Fuck <laughs> yeah, all you. Exactly. Like, <laughs> you, you know, it's, you like, it's, like early, but it's like early sports. Like, you know, like, yeah. people are like, what is this? This isn't what you should be doing. Yeah. Like, I don't care. I'm playing a game and I'm getting paid. I'm <laughs> Leave good. me alone, motherfucker. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah. So that's something that YouTube has over because it, it has a lot of, you know, uh, like, you know, a lot of shorts, like a lot of really good content besides, you know, just gaming and stuff like that. It has like original content. And all yeah, that. yeah. And Twitch is fine. I mean, it has its, uh, you know, and people love being entertained and t streamers are great at that. Yeah. Good streamers. Good, yeah, good streamers, right. Good streamers. Yeah, I, I think that the thing, the things to keep an eye on, just to summarize, is one, YouTube is way bigger. And if it's connected to uh, YouTube gaming, is going to be connected to the to you, mm -hmm. your YouTube subscribers. So if you have 300,000 subscribers, that's 300,000 potential people who might see the message. And you know I'm, what I mean? I'm like, also curious, like, cause YouTube, you know, changes like every, like right now gaming is the big thing cause PewDiePie is on top of it. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I mean, I remember, I mean, gaming has been pretty big on it too, but now recently, especially with PewDiePie on top is when YouTube is like, okay, let's recognize the gamers even more. Yeah, Even yeah. more so. So what if someone else, like what if, what if like all the top, you know, whatever, like, I don't know how many are in the top, but yeah. let's say PewDiePie and maybe like, maybe there's three others in the top 10. Yeah. What if they can knock down to 20? Yeah. You know? So yeah, that, YouTube will start catering to whoever's on the top. Yeah. You know? Well, I, I, yeah, that's something I don't think that they don't, they don't need to worry about okay. for a while because yeah, that's true. I think that the two biggest things on YouTube is music and, mm -hmm. and, uh, gaming and music because of vivo they can like the official channels all the official artist channels get billions millions and billions of views um but other than that like you can't even post a song <laughs> like you just get like copyright strike you can't post shit so i think those two things will stay on top there's other things out there like a lot of like uh i don't know what you would call them but like vloggers just mm -hmm. kind of like pranks and stuff those are a really big too but it's not like gaming that is just so like gaming has a bunch of huge people pranksters has a bunch of huge people but gaming also has a bunch of middle tier people and a bunch of small people you don't really see a bunch of just middle tier pranksters well, grand, or like, granted, we know we're mostly for the gaming we don't go looking for pranks that's true i mean yeah you're right but i you just know i mean <laughs> they, they they know that's why they're making the youtube gaming because they know yeah that's true they fucking know and I think YouTube Gaming has a real chance here, especially if they tick off this Google Plus thing, because if they can link all the subscribers to the to the to the new streams, then boom, that's initial already. You already have and now they just gotta impress people. Yeah, the layout people, looks Yeah, some people get what a hundred thousand views in the first five minutes, yeah, you know, like yeah. <laughs> a hundred thousand viewers. Yeah. Like viewers like Damn. Yeah, like in on Twitch, you or maybe like, you know maybe like fifty thousand because some people like sh the weird videos, whatever. But yeah, whatever. It's still that's yeah. I mean, obviously, like we both know it's not gonna be a direct correlation, right? right. We both know like you, if you get a hundred thousand, that doesn't mean you're gonna get a hundred thousand viewers. But it's just that potential is there, and we don't know how it's gonna play out until it's actually activated. It's supposed to be up by like August, like end late of August, end yeah. of August. So we're gonna find out. And I just think it's really interesting because it could be a real game changer for YouTubers because people who do gaming on YouTube now will have another avenue to to make money off of. And it, can, it will just grow the community even more. Of course, it will throw Twitch by the wayside. <laughs> like Twitch might end up becoming the fucking MySpace of this era. Uh -huh. You know, like it could happen because... Okay. Cause Twitch is not exactly the greatest fucking sir. Like the actual live streams are great, chat is great, but like their VOD structure is terrible. You know that's gonna be good on the YouTube side. You know it's impossible yeah. to search for shit. Like it's gonna be one of those interesting things too, though, is how much Twitch is gonna 
obviously they had they're gonna have to step up their game yeah oh if the youtube one is good if it's if it if it has the same comment system as before it's done yeah you yeah know? besides google plus comment system needs yeah to be yeah because the, uh, the comment system on the current youtube live streaming just a regular it's like you have to cl keep refreshing granted it. we haven't used it in a while maybe they fixed that already i don't know they but haven't still, fixed it. Okay. They haven't fixed it. They, 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 they want to make it look even worse so that when the new shit comes in, you're oh, like, oh, okay. look, it's, it's refreshing on its own. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck? This is yeah. amazing. So, yeah, like, we'll have to see because I want to see if Twitch is going to, like, what if they make their own YouTube, you know, like, like something like make their VODs more accessible because I think that's one of the big things on Twitch that, you know, people don't get catch the live stream. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's why they go on YouTube. That's why they go on YouTube to, to watch, watch the it. live stream that already happened. Yeah, it's gonna get brutal and bloody, and don't underestimate evil. Be uh, evil Google because they're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Really? No, I'll, you know, I, it's so, a fr it's a who makes your paychecks? <laughs> like, I just want to make sure. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, look, Google, keep paying me my money, please. No, because uh, Google, you know how their 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 logo. Their um, motto for their company is um, "Don't be evil," because when they started, of course, they were small, just like everybody mm -hmm. else, and they hated evil corporations. Oh, the irony! <laughs> oh, the irony! And you cannot underestimate like the people at Google who run Google are s some of the most spiteful, really corporate like people on earth, dude. And that's why they did Google Plus because they offered Facebook. A godfather offer to buy Facebook. Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg spit in her face and said... <laughs> oh, and then we can't forget, you know, speaking of that, the whole Twitch, Amazon, Google exactly, thing. Exactly, exactly. Google wanted to buy Twitch. Yeah. Don't forget about that, guys. Google wanted to buy Twitch for $1 billion. And they're getting so much negative feedback. We don't know why it happened. Okay, we don't it was, know. It was we, we're spec Plus. we're speculating. It was Google Plus. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. were like, no, no, no I don't Twitch, want Google Twitch, Plus. Twitch. Come on. Yeah, we're speculating, but I imagine you imagine we talked about this is Twitch was scared off by all the negative feedback that people were like, mm -hmm. no, don't sell yourself to Google. They're gonna ruin everything. So yeah. then they at the last minute we had we had almost heard confirmations that they had already sold twitch to google for one billion dollars and then all of a sudden like a couple days later amazon bought twitch for like 980 or 970 million something like that and everybody was like what like that's amazon like what that doesn't make any sense and everyone you know? was like yeah you guys didn't you know like everyone like kind of backtracked what they yeah, said yeah i was like, like oh we never were talking to google <laughs> at all like as they're like burning the contracts <laughs> like <laughs> So I guarantee you, Google is pissed. Yeah, but hopefully it doesn't turn out like Google Plus. Yeah, well, I'm thinking that they learn from Google Plus. You know, the thing is, I don't, I wouldn't mind having a great YouTube streaming service because it'd just be easy to connect to everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just as long as you don't push it on people, it's fine. Like Google Plus wasn't bad for YouTube. It's just people just get scared away and they get pissed off and then they leave but when you actually use it it was just like what it's just whatever it's just like <laughs> it's your you just log into your gmail and then that was it everything was already connected for you you know yeah but whatever you know we'll see how it happens <laughs> <laughs> so all right so moving on to actual gaming kind of news yes something really cool which is a game i haven't played just because it was kind of old, wasn't really, I didn't have a system to play it, whatever. Yeah. Knights of the Old Republic 2. Yeah, which came out on the Xbox. Uh, it was an Xbox exclusive, well, console exclusive. I right, mean, and it, then it came to PC. Yeah, it was on PC too, but it was a console exclusive. Oh. Yeah, it was It was on PC. Mm -hmm. But it's been, what, 10 years? It's about 10 years, bro. 10 years. 2005. And it got, did you know it got an update? He got an update. It he was got awesome. an update. And what, is it, what did this update have? it was a pretty have? big update too. A 10-year... Four gig? Gap. Was it four gigs? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. It was a it was a big update. It added things like the resolution, which not a huge thing. I mean, the game doesn't look 
that much great yeah. you know the graphics weren't great well i mean if you saw the xbox version it looks a lot but i know yeah. what you're saying it doesn't look it doesn't look like it's it was made yeah, in this no generation Witcher, yeah dragon age bioware game you yeah know? it's it's still granted it was bioware kind of yeah but it doesn't look like up to our standards i guess now yeah but they did add 5k resolution 5k i didn't, I didn't even heard of that like this. i wonder if that's just that was just a misprint on the site yeah you know, like, <laughs> i do but, i actually read it the whole thing just to see that because i was like wait there's more than 4k because i don't even know like i was like I thought we don't 4- have a core 4k yeah, monitor. yeah i'm still on 1080p bro like i'm not even <laughs> we just, i just got a 1080p <laughs> and i just then there's 4k now yeah. there's 5k yeah you guys are going way too fast <laughs> I, have to, I have to stop my amazon order for the 4k <laughs> monitor and buy the 5k wait 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 there's 5k you didn't tell me <laughs> um, yeah so that um so there was a game it was made by obsidian Orig- the original one part one was made by bioware, bioware yeah but this is just one of those interesting things like why do it now why do it now that, yeah and that's because when i read it i thought it was for the old republic which is bioware's online yeah spiritual successor which came out like 2009 yeah or 2011. But it's still going if i'm not mistaken yeah and they're actually so that, working that and i was like oh well, when you told me this i was like so who cares like, like it's is... just an update for a game that's still going what are you talking yeah, about like why like, do we no, want to no. talk about that yeah like no 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 bro this game came out 10 years ago he's like no no not the old republic knights of the old republic i was like oh <laughs> shit like it didn't it just didn't click well i thought this was interesting for several reasons because number one i was like okay why why did they do it now so let's break that down do you think they did that because they have another knights of the old republic in the works or they have th- this is a way to kind of just build a little buzz or something because you know for the people, movie for the movie too for mm-hmm. for, for, for battlefront yeah it could be a boat boat yeah i guess i i wonder who controls the update because i'm a i assume it's obsidian right but i you know i i guess they have to pay them right. a lot to do it like, <laughs> like bioware and obsidian are under ea yeah ea is making battlefront yes right so that just brings up the question like so who did this i'm assuming it was ea obviously because yeah. they they work with all those three companies yeah so they're the ones that okayed this so does that mean we're getting a part three to this who's making it yeah because the first one was bioware the second one was obsidian are they yeah. gonna bring in a new person yeah and i was thinking it can't be bioware i mean maybe it can but they're working on mass effect 4 and they're finishing up their new expansion, which I think is their final expansion for the old Republic, which is what you were mm-hmm. just saying, um, Knights I, of I'm the not, Fallen Empire. And I'm assuming they're still working on whatever they have left for Dragon Age. Yeah. If they're working on the next one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a lot of stuff to be working on at once. I can't see, like, Knights of the Old Republic would be, it's a classic. Like, people love that game. Mm-hmm. People psychotically yeah, I'm, love I'm that a, game. I'm a, I have it, like I said, I haven't played it, but uh when we talked about it i saw that there's a sale on steam for the second one yeah so i was like it has controller support now might as well just buy it that's the other thing that they added and like that that's that's something that's huge too because um i like i have my pc and i like playing games you on have the pc 200 dollar con- a fucking keyboard there a hey, hundred dollar mouse it's for good no typing gaming. no it's for it's for no typing. gaming on that computer it's for good except typing. telltale games <laughs> <laughs> every yeah. other game we use your <laughs> rocket league bro no i know but not with the mouse and keyboard mm-hmm. yeah and that's the thing it's just like i'm sorry i'm just not a mouse no, and keyboard yeah. guy unless it's real-time strategy that's the only mm-hmm. thing that i ever learned how to play on there um so yeah that that's a huge deal too because there's a lot of people like me i know there's a lot of people like me who recently like okay i love playing on my pc and now all games have control you know a lot of games yeah there's still some that just you know just their pc game yeah well i mean like real-time strategy you can't you can't put unless you want to make it halo wars or something yeah (laughs) like you know obviously dumb down yeah make it easier for your hands yeah because there's no way you can press all the button combinations on your hand on your fucking control halo Halo wars man it's just a lost opportunity put it on the mouse and keyboard you microsoft owns windows they own halo they should have just done it yeah yeah, for real um but yeah there's a lot of players like me who would love to play all like batman or assassin's creed <laughs> the bad examples is they're both fucked up on release but either way once they're working they look the best on the pc yeah gamepad all the old games didn't like majority of them didn't have that they didn't have that support and like a lot of those i like we were trying to play battlefront and you can you can 
you can put the controller on it, but it sucks. Like it's like you, it's built for the mouse and keyboard. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, so that that's another huge update part of it. But anyways, point point was back to the point was, are they gonna make a part three? Is that why they did this? Do you think they're making a part three? Yes or no? Um, I don't know if they're working on part three for the game, but I think they're working something in that universe. Okay, that would and make sense. And it's not gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be Obsidian. Uh, Bioware for sure, like we said. Yeah. And probably maybe not Obsidian. Maybe they're gonna get someone else to do it. Yeah. EA could do. It. I mean, they can hire I anybody. Who, we mentioned someone last week that that would have been a good choice because yeah, they've been remember. working on games with them recently. Yeah, I don't. Fuck, I don't remember. But anyways, that was. And then I, I didn't think Obsidian would would be the best uh, because they haven't really done anything. The last game they did was uh, that Stick. I remember was the Stick of Truth. Yeah, great but, game, but but something that's not like it is an in depth RPG, but as far as like graphics, <laughs> that. Means- that's the thing, like, if it, if they make a new Knights of the Old Republic, the graphics have to be amazing. Yeah. And I think when you have amazing graphics, that's, like, another 200 people on your team. <laughs> like Just they, drawing the fucking... The, you see, and, you see yeah. that freckle right there? Make sure it's perfect. <laughs> but no one will see it. Make sure it's that perfect. freckle is good. <laughs> Yeah, it's a big deal, dude. It's adding a lot of people to your team. So I don't, I don't know. Recently, they just been doing like a bunch of small scale games, other than like Stick of Truth. So I, I don't see them doing it. Um, my second question is, why don't more games do this? Because just like you said, it kind of made you like, oh, I, I, I want to buy it now. Like one, they don't have the money. Okay. Right. And they also don't have a movie that will automatically <laughs> advertise. Or they don't have a franchise. Yeah, they don't have a franchise. Like, yeah. you know, like, they, they don't. That's true. You know, Mega Man is dead in the water. Great franchise. Someone yeah. had to bring it back from the depths of hell, yeah. you know, to be able to bring it back. And they can't even bring it back as Mega Man. That's true. That's true. Uh, there has to be some candidates out there, though. I just can't think of any. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. See, like, I, I love, like, the old Command and Conquers. Right, and they haven't made they haven't made them. They, they're not making them anymore. So I was like, what if they just like updated it? If they updated Red Alert two, I guess there's not enough a big of a fan base. Yeah, for I it. mean, yeah. I mean, there might be a big enough fan base, but like I'm saying, like, okay, if the movie for Star Wars wasn't coming out, I don't think Battlefront would be coming out this year. Yeah, they they would take their time more. Yes. Yeah, and then, of course it's tied in. They yeah. cannot delay that it's, game. Disney milking, you know, mm. as sad it is. I mean, it's not. I'm not even saying it in this bad way because I'm hoping all these games are going to be good. Yeah, it's one of those things like you hate using the word milking, but you know that's what they're doing. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, God, I want that to be good. Yeah. Because yeah. like I really wanted like the Jurassic World to be good, and I liked it. Yeah. But like all these stuff is like sometimes you know people are like just let it die, you know. But I'm yeah. Like, I wouldn't mind seeing the new one. If we, if, we lo- if we love it so much, then why why let it die? Yeah. You know? So you know this is the. So, you know, or it's EA. I mean, who knows how the contracts work, but it's EA milking Star Wars. Yeah, but it's just kind of weird that it's, you know, they're both, they're all like, come, everything's happening right around the time. Like, all like, they're all milking it, you know? Yeah. But they're milking, like, they came together and were like, we're going to milk it. Yeah. Right now. And good for them because they're going to make, <laughs> I, I was just, little side note before we get to the last story, I was reading uh, on IGN, they were saying, that the pre-orders were fucking amazing for, for, Battlefront. for Battlefront. And that's the thing, and like, honestly, like, I was so turned off when I heard about no multi, uh, no single no, player. No, yeah, me Or me no uh, story, I guess, not no multi, there's no single player, because I guess there's horde mode and stuff that you can do Yeah, yeah, player. no story, no campaign. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you, thank you, that's no the word campaign. I was looking for. Yeah. Which is very disappointing. I'm sure they're gonna have little story things for the modes you play, but that was just kind of like, because if any game ever deserves a fucking campaign, it's a Star Wars game. You have the richest lore probably in, in of any franchise out there, other than maybe like Star Trek or something Lord and Lord of the Rings. Like, there's no way it shouldn't have a campaign. And why do they do that? Well, because they need to release the game on time. Yeah, maybe they'll add, maybe they'll come out with like not Battlefront, but it's gonna have the story that should have been in Battlefront as its own game. Yeah. So sad, bro. So sad. <laughs> but like you said, either way, we want it to be good. Mm-hmm. And and then they, they also... We, I mean, I played at E3. I don't think you got a chance No, to I didn't. But, but it was it felt cool. It looked good. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not going to say it didn't. It did look good. And they, at, they asked one of the EA execs, like, is there a possibility that it's going to be delayed? And he said, absolutely not. <laughs> that is not going to happen. 
and, <laughs> and there's a gun to our head. Right no, now. it doesn't matter if that game it completely doesn't work. Like if you like you can't even launch the game. They're selling the game on November whatever the day it comes Just out. Just like Batman on PC. Yeah, like it's coming out no matter what. And like and then they'll figure out. Yeah, after. then then we'll fix it, and you guys will be mad at us. But then you'll play once we fix it. And we will. And we will. We Losers. Will. <laughs> All right, last story. Yes. Yes. So another kind of like in the similar thing of like older games. Yeah. Capcom. Guys, someone made a remake of. It was a fan remake. As a fan, yeah. So there's a fan remake out there of, of Resident Evil 2. Not a complete remake, but yeah, because I mean it's kind of like they were just. It was probably like a pitch idea. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Granted, I don't know. I do you know how many people worked on it. No, I, I didn't get to Because I don't know if you remember the story we, we talked about a long time ago. was the guys that were... Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask. They were like... They were not... It wasn't a re- remake. It was... They were remastering They were themselves. remastering it. And it looked good, too. Yeah. And then, of course, like, a couple months later, Whoa, Majora's Mask on the 3DS. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. And you know those guys will get... They'll put the injunction down, like they'll bring the hammer down whenever the fuck they want to. Yeah. Like, but this was this one was different because we there's been a lot of stories like this before, and of course the company always brings the hammer down and just like, yeah, you're not releasing that game or you're yeah, gonna stop making something it. interesting like uh, DayZ. Uh-huh. It was a mod of Arma Two, uh, Gary's mod, uh, not Gary's mod. Was it CS:GO? Was CS:GO the mod of like? Uh, Half Life, right? Yeah. And they made that into a game. Uh-huh. Uh, Dota. Yeah. Re uh, mod of World of War or yeah. Warcraft, I think. Yeah, Warcraft. And yeah. they they made it into a game. Yeah. You know? yeah. So and this is the similar like to one of those stories instead of one of the ones like we're trying to make something we love. Can will you like it? Nope. Yeah. This one's like, all right, let's see, let's see how this goes. Because yeah. Capcom, I think they haven't been doing so well. Yeah, they've been uh, well. Oh, they needed somebody to fund them to make Street Fighter Five. So I guess one of their greatest franchises. Of yeah, all they time. don't. They don't have the money to make that. Apparently, what the fuck? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I mean those stories were different because they're mods, True. so they're different. So this one is like a remake of, of Resident Evil Two, and it looked good. They had video out there, and the thing is, they didn't just remake it like add textures like the, the way they kind of do remasters now like they completely changed the perspective they kind of made it like a resident evil 4 behind the back third person perspective because you know back in the old ones like when it you was would, a fixed camera it when was you a walk f- into a room yeah it was a fixed camera and then it was like a weird angle how did we ever play games <laughs> like that dude like it's one of those things same thing with graphics is like i i can't see graphics getting better now yeah but they will they will and yeah. then graphics now will look like shit it's yeah. just like how how yeah. old not, how, like i can understand pixel graphics looking like shit but i'm sure like you know five ten years from now a game like uh like what's a really good looking game right now that i can't think of fucking let's say like witcher 3 looks okay. amazing yeah what if like in 10 years there's a game that's just like it is just real people you know yeah so like, yeah okay i don't even think like it, and i don't even know if that would be fun i don't know if it would be fun but i'm sure yeah. like like graphics are gonna be getting like that yeah like they're gonna they're good they have to keep going they're not gonna stop they have to keep getting more and more photo i guess what they can do is just keep making the worlds more and more complex and that's how they'll branch out where it's like okay now it looks like the most amazing ever now we can make the worlds even mm-hmm. like bigger um, that's true. That's true. I think that's that's that would be the next step. But yeah, so they 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 are doing this remake, and so Capcom did something interesting, and in, in that they said instead of bringing the hammer down right away, which they will, <laughs> they'll bring the hammer down. And don't worry. Hopefully, hire these guys. Yeah, to uh, yeah. Help out at least. <laughs> so like th- this is the interesting thing is that on, on their Facebook, they posted uh, mm-hmm. something saying like, how do you guys how do you guys our fans feel about this like remake? Like, what are your honest thoughts about it, you know? And supposedly they already had like 6,000 comments on it. I'm sure a lot of people were like, yeah, it's actually, it looks, it looks good. Okay. It looks really good. And it's a cool twist on just like, this is an actual remake. It's not just like, let's add eight HD textures and make the frame rate 60. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> like, I think they learned their lesson when, when uh, Inafune made Mighty Number no. 9 though. Uh-huh. Cause like people have been wanting Mega Man for a while, I think. Yeah. And then Inafune, when he left, he's like, do you guys want Mega Man? And he's yeah. like, here's a million dollars. Yeah, like, yeah. Here's nine million dollars. Plus we'll get the money when we sell it too. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like Capcom's like, Cap like, like, what the fuck? Like, oh my God, dude. And, <laughs> and, messed up. and, uh, they, they did Resident Evil HD, which was like 
it was the remake to part one. Mm-hmm. They just released that, and that sold over a million copies, so and, which is a lot. There's a fan base. There. there is a fan base, and Resident Evil Two is way better in part one. Okay. Uh, it's honest, uh, me, I never really played too. Much. I played four. That's the one I played. The Take most. my word for it, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. Part two is way better than part one, in my opinion. And why wouldn't they remake it? You know. But here's the question: Why did they put that post out on Facebook? Why didn't they just drop the hammer and it's like, "Well, right, we're gonna remake it ourselves"? Do, do they? Is that a way? Are they just trying to piggyback on Dude, something interesting that I just remembered right now? There was a Mega Man Cross Street Fighter. I don't know if you saw that. Ever played it? No. It was a fan-made game. It was Mega Man, but all the bosses... It was one of the 8-bit Mega Man side-scrollers, yeah. and all the bosses were Street Fighter characters. Okay, that's It sick. was a fan game that kind of like Capcom acknowledged and kind of re- helped release, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I never... No, I never heard yeah, of that. Yeah, I think it was for the Capcom... Capcom helped release this game. Or something. They, they, they promoted it, because I remember it was Capcom Cup or something, 25th anniversary, yeah. and that's when that came out. Okay. So there is a history where they might actually support it. Because my question is, if these guys are good and they've done a good job with what they have, with what they have, why, why not they have a studio behind them? Why not just, you, dude? <laughs> my mind has just been blown right now because I don't know if this is what you meant, but if I were a company, why not hire like some bullshit guys to be like, oh, we're remaking this game or whatever? Oh. Okay. Viral marketing campaign. The ideas, <laughs> we have them. We just need to people to listen. <laughs> okay, dude, this would be amazing. What if Capcom hired these guys and these are actual like a studio or whatever people, professional guys is just like, are just pretend to be fans, but actually remake the game or whatever. Like they're like a bunch of nobodies that have worked in the business. Yeah, like, yeah, no yeah, but they're really like, they know what the fuck they're doing. They remake the game or whatever, and then like Capcom's like nice guy Capcom's like, you know what? These guys did a really good job. We're gonna pay them for their work, and we're gonna release their game. Wouldn't that just give them like ten thousand <laughs> uh, fucking karma point, like positive <laughs> karma points? Well, where is that? Is that Reddit? Is yeah, that like, like, Reddit like I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, that would be fucking ingenious. Like if they did, they just ruin their plan. Now everyone will know. Everyone in the world who has now will now know. <laughs> spread this, spread this, please. No, dude, that would be amazing. I, if I were a company, I would do that with all my old school yeah, games. Yeah, and it's one of those things like, I don't really like. I wish more companies would just piggyback off this, you know, uh, but because the, there's so many things like this that happen. It's like yeah, like every month. Yeah, yeah fan made stuff is like just. There's people there to yeah. do something with it. Yeah. Free advertisement or whatever. Maybe you paid them off, you know, like maybe yeah. you paid prior, but still it's there. Do something with it. Some of the, I, and especially, dude, I think it's honestly a lot of the Japanese companies don't embrace their fans in the same way. I don't know if it's a cultural thing or what, but. You haven't played Project M yet, have you? Uh, no. The melee, the, no, 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 no. The, the melee mod for, yeah. for Brawl. I recently saw them, they recreated. Ridley, uh huh, like a Ridley to playable character. Ridley as from Alien? No, or? I'm sorry. Fuck, what's the name? I completely forgot the name. Uh, from uh, Samus. Samus. From Metroid. Okay, the, okay. Yeah. yeah, I forgot. Is that Ridley? Is it Ridley? No. What the the dragon. Oh, okay, okay. No, I don't remember the fucking name. Oh yeah. fuck, I can't. But anyways, yeah. they remade it, and. Like they made it its own character with its own move sets and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's crazy. Yeah. You know. And um, and Nintendo won't embrace that at Probably all. Not. Never. No, they haven't, and yeah. they won't. <laughs> they won't. Yeah, it's a it's yeah. a mod to their game, which makes their game a lot better. And yet, the most successful games on YouTube and end result in the world and like just money wise are games that allow mods and like like the biggest GTA. Like they have so many. You can mod Minecraft. Skyrim, yes, Minecraft, exactly. Like you can do the, anything in Minecraft. It is a mod. Like, yeah, it is a mod. It's just exactly. a modding platform. Exactly, but like these, like I, I think of GTA especially, and I guess, I guess Halo in a sense, it, it, you can't mod, but it did give you like the Forge tools mm-hmm. and the customization tools, and like when they embrace the fans, they push it forward. Like they, they push it forward. And it seems like they don't embrace these things. They push them aside because they're not made by professionals or whatever. 
but if they can harness that full power there's so many people who are willing to be part of it and who can do great work man that would be that would be awesome yeah. if capcom actually like i need the, you to play fucking project them just so the, you can see the little things they added yeah. to some of the characters you're like dude like <laughs> this is this, amazing this game is so much better than fucking slow ass brawl <laughs> no not even just that just like like just the things they added like some of the characters have like just different moves that like you're like yes let's yeah. make something unique yeah like Ganondorf's taunt instead of having you know his warlock punch yeah he has a chargeable taunt that he uses as an attack and he brings out the sword that uh -huh. he has as his taunt but he never uses oh okay you know it's just like so he actually that, uses the sword yeah he actually has the sword for use you know that's crazy yeah damn that's crazy and that's something that you know it's not nowhere in brawl yeah you know they yeah. have to add this themselves a lot of work <laughs> but yeah so capcom do you think they're gonna what, what is this about are they just picking back, piggybacking off the, the? Do they have the? I think they had I think, a plan. Probably. I think uh, what's it called? The recent remake of Devil May Cry did very well. Yeah, and like I said, Resident Evil HD did well. Yes, so I think they're like they're one using this as more like a, like a, you know just a piggyback launching stepping stone whatever yeah. you want to call it. But maybe they are going to do something with like Resident they probably they probably had their own Re Resident Evil Two HD plan already. It's probably exactly how. The first one or, is yeah exactly. Now they're yeah. looking at this, they're like shit. Yeah. Dropped on us. Yeah, I know. And then it that see that would be bad if because <laughs> it's gonna be the same thing. The fixed cameras, not that it's bad, but okay, the fixed cameras and shit. Or what if then, they have like two modes, like one with the free cam and then one with the fixed cam? And like like they have like on the screen original. Yeah. You know, and then that'd be sick. That'd be sick as hell. That'd be because I'm sure some people would love to play it the original way. Eh? Yeah, no, of course. I, I saw a couple people comment on the on like the video for the the fan remake. They're mm -hmm. like, oh no, this is this is not the what yeah. it's supposed to be. But and then all the new people that haven't played that it's game like, are like, oh, dude, this, is... this game would look sick like that. Yeah, this game. And is then so they amazing. might even try the original, and just be like, oh, this sucks, but still. <laughs> yeah, but I tried it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll we'll see what Capcom does. I'd be very surprised if they don't drop the hammer. If they uh, if they drop the hammer, if they don't, I'll be surprised if they don't do it. Like, so you think they are gonna stop? They're them. gonna stop them, and I think that okay, maybe this is the nice way to do it instead of just All right. just doing I, it. I I don't think they're gonna stop it. I mean, uh, I think they're gonna stop their their game and kind of you know like they are gonna stop that, but they're, they're I think they're gonna do something with it though. Okay, I, no, I, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, but like, you're right. You're there, I don't think they could allow like something like that. It's like, we're yeah. a huge studio. You're not. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. It's our game, yeah. our franchise, our we brand. We need to look good, not you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, but maybe they are realizing, like you said, that they have, like Mega Man and stuff, they have these franchises that there's a large fan base Take advantage. Be creative with it. <laughs> yeah. Just don't do what Sonic has been doing. <laughs> <laughs> Sega Sega reported like a four hundred million dollar loss or something like that. Like, well, what yeah. they had the game plus the show and the game wasn't finished. <laughs> game That's a real game that wasn't done. Battlefront is gonna not work, whatever. But it, the game is gonna be there. You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah. it's gonna be somewhere there. Yeah. So Sonic Boom, you could play. Yeah. But you didn't. You don't want to play. Yeah. Unless you're a little kid, obviously. That's so sad, bro. It's a Sonic. You were my best friend when I was a kid. Now it's just oh, like... Yeah, my first syst like console system was the Sega Genesis. Yeah. That was, was my first system. It wasn't my first, but it was one of the, when I was actually old enough to like play a fucking game like <laughs> Sonic. Maybe someone will make a, like a make a, a fan made real good 3D Sonic game. Yeah. Yeah, see that'd be awesome, dude. Like Sonic Adventure was amazing. The the one that was on the Dreamcast. I really haven't played any that aren't 2D. Okay, well, Adventure Sonic Adventure One and Two were both were me. both really good, both made by like Team Sega. Like that was what they needed to bring the Dreamcast, mm -hmm. and it was good. Okay. After that, <laughs> <laughs> so Capcom just doesn't need to do that. They just need to make it good. Capcom just needs to embrace their fans and stop pushing them away. Obviously, there is a large fan base for Mighty Number no. Nine. It was there the whole time, and it had to take somebody to actually just be like you know what i'm gonna fucking do this <laughs> you know and they're doing it maybe they'll learn now i yeah. don't know we'll see anyways guys thanks for joining us on this on this week's podcast we'll be back next week regular Unless schedule we technical difficulty scheduling uh, hopefully <laughs> well, not guys we hopefully won't, not we won't. hopefully not but we'll be back next week 
same time, same bat place, <laughs> same bat channel. <laughs> same bat time, same bat channel. Peace. Peace.